what we're thinking of as as aliens are they're uh, they're, they're extra dimensional beings. Have you ever heard the frantic phone call made by a man who claimed to have worked at Area 51? An anonymous man called into Art Bell live on Coast to Coast in September of 1997 with some wild claims. You're going to want to listen to this. Online, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, I, I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, let's begin yeah. by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, Area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and and <laughs> I, I've kind of been running a, across the country. Um, oh, man, I don't know where to start. They're, uh, they're, they're, they're going to... Um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. Well, um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone, so give us something quick. Okay, um, um, okay, what, what we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, uh, they're, they're extra-dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the, um, space program made contact with. Uh, they they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of uh, uh, a lot of aspects of, of of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming. They, the, the military. I'm sorry. The, the government knows about them, and. There's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now, Art. But they're not doing, they're not doing anything. They are not. They want the major population centers wiped out so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable. Discharge. <laughs> He lost all transmit capability on this end here in Nevada. The transmitter went belly up suddenly for some unknown reason. I've never seen it do this in all the years, all the years that we've been on the air. The line mysteriously cut out during the live broadcast, leaving listeners puzzled. Some say this is a hoax, but others are not convinced. What do you believe?